so let me go to lambda i will select lambda lambda is a serverless service we not require server 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 and all to process this request okay i'll go to lambda service okay so first we have to create a function so i will just click on create a function okay so other from scratch okay so my function so i will call it as ebs snapshot ebs ebs snapshot. snapshot i'll call it as then come down so we have to select python language because i written the program on python see if you know not js you can go with that no problem if you know dot net you can go with that not a problem but here i selected python 3.7 or python 3.8 okay because i written that program in python 3.7 so come down uh then change execution role i will select create a new role with the basic lambda permission that is enough then create a function so it will create a function then we will copy the code from my git then i'll paste over it even i don't know python a basic knowledge i have i i got this code from google itself you can also search if you want okay and whatever the automation you want you can go through the uh, like a python okay so now i can see that i created a ebs snapshot function so i'll go, go to code i'll remove this test code from here to remove you have to go select and remove okay i'll go to my github so you can search github so go to my github so come down ara chirikunnallo photo unda ayyo yena the chena putta putta okay here i will check what is where is my code first of all okay i think uh, over you snapshot okay let me see snapshot snapshot backup lambda okay so uh, i'll copy this link in whatsapp okay i'll send you whatsapp now sure. snapshot backup lambda so first we go into create a snapshot by using lambda function for creation same as if you want to delete uh, what uh snapshot you have to create another function lambda function delete so i will just click on lambda function create dot py then i'll copy this just copy the script copy go to your function and paste over you okay so then i will deploy this code first for that you have to click on deploy i successfully de deploy then i will test whether it is a working or not so click on test so for that we need to create a default template i will put just ashik or whatever you want no problem save that's it so now i will test let's see whether we getting error or not Yeah, here we getting error. What is the error? Error message and error record. Uh, uh, what is another user operation when calling describe volume? So we don't have a permission to access that. So I will attach a administrator policy. Then I will try. So for that we have to go to lambda code again. Then we have we should go to configuration. In configuration we have to go to permission. Then see you can see that role name right. I will just click on this role. then i'll go to this role then i will attach one administrator policy let's see okay so you can see that so this is my uh, permission so i will attach one administrator policy so for that click on add a permission attach policy admin administrator access you can see that aws manage job function provide full access to aws resources so then and attach a policy successfully done i'll go to my snapshot again so now i will test the code <coughs> once again go to code okay so now i will go to lambda function i'll remove this page i'll go to lambda function i'll test it again and now you can see that successfully we created so i'll go to my snapshot so then i will check whether any snapshot has been created or not let's see i'll go to my snapshot and you can okay let's see one minute let's wait അല്ല അല്ല അത് ഞാൻ വൺ മിനിറ്റ് കൊടുത്തിട്ടുള്ളത് നമുക്ക് വെയിറ്റ് ചെയ്യാം കുറച്ച് നേരം കഴിയുമ്പോൾ വിരോസ് ആണ് മതി വെറുതെ കുറേ നേരം വെയിറ്റ് ചെയ്യണ്ടല്ലോ 
കൊടുക്കാൻ പാടില്ല ലീസ്റ്റ് പെർമിഷൻ എപ്പോഴും കൊടുക്കാൻ പാടുള്ളൂ ഉണ്ട് ഇ ബി എസ് വേറെ പെർമിഷൻ ഉണ്ട് ഈ സീറ്റിന് ഉള്ളിൽ തന്നെ എല്ലാ പെർമിഷൻ വരും നമുക്ക് എന്ത് യൂണിക് ആയിട്ട് കൊടുക്കാൻ വേണമെങ്കിൽ സോ ലെറ്റ്സ് വെയ് വിത്ത് ഇൻ വൺ ടു ടു മിനിറ്റ്സ് വിൽ ബി ഗെറ്റ് വൺ മോർ സ്നാപ് ഷോട്ട് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ടു ക്രിയേറ്റ് Okay, let it come first. Okay, so next we'll discuss about. Okay, that is enough EBS. Okay, any doubt? So what are the two types of ins, uh, volumes we have? Yes. Instant store. So what is IOPS? What is the definition of IOPS? Input output operation per second in a disk. Then what is the throughput? the total amount of data that is traveled over a network through internet then what is the bandwidth the capacity ah capacity see if you getting question what is the bandwidth capacity if you getting throughput the total amount of data that is transferred over a network i hope the disk operation per second okay so then uh, okay ebs volume okay types of ebs volume types of ebs volume gp2 ah uh, gp ah uh, first gp 2 then 3 then then 3 ah then eh i hope so then cold hd cold hd throughput optimized throughput okay magnetic okay suppose if i want to do multi attach ebs multi attach which i have to one 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 also supporting now right okay then okay what is the first step file system type so we have a five parameters over there right what or not block device or else or else yeah. no no if i'm not selecting block device i have another option over there uuid what is the uuid full form identifier okay fine then next parameter on point next file system type okay file system type then default what is it options okay then backup if if i if i require a backup what should i put over there one or else Zero. zero only zero one then what next value sorry count of eps volume if you put zero over there that will not check count if you put one root root okay then what about two next eps volume that's it uh that's it okay so now we'll discuss about efs and we'll finish efs today then uh, monday we will start auto scaling first then we will start load balancing okay ha ah, ya yeah.